After soaking in the full Supreme Court judgment delivered for 12 hours yesterday, State House says it will comply with the ruling but does not agree with what it equates to a judicial coup. Kuu katika taifa la Kenya imefanywa na watu waine kule kotini. Hii ni kuu. Hakuna kitu ingini. And I must call it what it is. The president, visibly incensed by what he says, is the judge's obsession with quantity over quality, processes over numbers. The court have said they have no issue with the numbers. And even the technical issues of serial numbers and signatures and rubber stamps. We are now being told all those papers and forms were in court and even other judges saw them. So why was this election overturned? The Supreme Court owes Kenyans an explanation on how such a monstrous injustice could have taken place. Kenyatta not mincing his words on the election despite threats by NASA that they will not happen unless the opposition demands are met. There shall and must be an election within that constitutionally stipulated period. While the duo insists it will revisit the verdict, Parliament appears the next frontier in the presidency's sights to right what he terms open wrongs, and all security agencies had been put to task. The judgment has also created uncertainties and raised matters that require legislative attention. I have therefore requested that Parliament should expeditiously address itself to their issues raised. The President and his DP saying the full judgment had left more questions than answers. The presidency's anger manifest in an earlier meeting with leaders from pastoralist communities. We have reversed everything in this country. just by the decision of a few people. All the gains that we have tried to achieve in this country of bringing our people together, we have reversed them by a judgment that I don't know how history will ever judge these gentlemen and ladies. The country, they say, had been taken back akin to no democracy and no regard for the constitution. Eh? Mimi nimesikia maajabu jameni. Things I cannot believe I can hear in a democratic nation. Mambo yale yote wa Kenya walikata wakati walijipatia katiba umpia. Wengine sasa wamejipatia mamlaka. Ya kutisha wenzao kusema ata mukienda kuamua tena. Mukirudi, bado nitaamua vile nitataka. Ai. Ai, 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 ai. It is not acceptable that a voter's decision for it to be final has to be qualified by a judge. It's not, that is not democracy. That is tyranny of the judiciary, which has no place and is not acceptable in Kenya. Jackie Marie Bay, Citizen Live at 9.